Jim, is it time to batten down the hatches? Uh, yeah, we've been waiting a long time for this. It's been it's been very quiet uh, in the UK. Um, so yeah, this is the first. Uh, I say the first name storm. This was wasn't named by the British Met Office. This was named by the Denmark uh, Meteorological Institute, uh, mainly because they a, a they saw it first, and and b it's going to affect Denmark more than necessarily going to affect the UK. Um, at the moment, I, I just looked at the the, the, the the largest gust that I've seen so far, and, and we've got a, a very rural road in in northwest Scotland, Beeloch Nabar, which is which has gusted to ninety four miles an hour, so well above the sixty. But I think in general, yeah, we're looking fifty, sixty, maybe seventy miles an hour across Scotland, per, uh, perhaps northeast England, but but the north of the UK generally. So, so it is pretty generalised, in, in, um, sort of localised rather, in that sort of part of the country, that the whole of Great Britain is not going to be battered by this storm. Yeah, the, Angela, the, the low pressure area is actually to the north of Scotland as we speak, so, so the Northern Islands, in, and it will move in a, an easterly direction towards northern Germany and Denmark as, as the day goes on. So really... Uh, it's the top edge, if you like, if we can say that. And it'll be those exposed areas, particularly around the coast and over the hills and mountains. So anybody travelling up there on roads uh, and rail, for that matter, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, as I say, it's a long time coming. And uh, as I say, first one of the season. But having said that, as I, we're still waiting for our, our first no, na name storm. By that, I mean Antoni. We've been waiting a long time because we do it, our things alphabetically. So Antoni being the first one, Betty, Sicilian being the third, and the last one on the list, Wouter. Uh, it's a long way off, probably won't make it. Um, but you know what? You know, this, this time last year, uh, on this day, 17th of February, we saw Storm Dudley, which was the, the first of... Of several storms that we saw in the in the uh, uh, in the period that followed, so we we then had Storm Eunice, then Storm Franklin, then Storm Gladys, all in quick succession. So this one is uh, is the first, and maybe we've got to wait uh, some time for the second. I take it that we've got to brace ourselves for this kind of weather every winter. Do we think? Yeah, it's, I, I mean, winter storms are, are there per se. We, we normally see a few storms in the winter. Obviously, climate change may well ramp that up to a certain degree. It certainly did last year. Uh, my expectation is we move into meteorological spring, which isn't very far away, uh, is that we will start to make up for the, for the slack that we've endured for the last month or two uh, in terms of not seeing too many storms. So, so, yeah, I think we've got to watch for this one, watch the space. I'll probably be back with you uh, before too long. We'll see how it goes.